cyber dogs, hawklings, and fellow Minecrafters to another episode of the Game and Grandpa's Cyber Dog Nation server. And we are up to episode 17, finally. We're getting there slowly but surely to the end of this particular series. Uh, we're still just basically, you know, messing around, having a little good time. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this next episode, and we will eventually continue on to the final episode. So, I will see you there with a potato in your face, man. Check oh. it out. Look at this little pen. I got set up. Set, set oh, up really. is he going to be able to get big? <laughs> He's all scrunched up. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Only or something. Stay a small chicken. Chick, chick. A secret kingdom. Be enclosed in small spaces. Uh, Dula? Yeah. Do we? Do yeah. we? Do we have a glass? Ooh. I, I, I did grab. Um some sand just recently, but I think I may have used up the glass we had around building that uh, uh, villager spawner and then taking it back down again, so I'll have to look. But uh, otherwise, I'd be more than happy to cook you up some. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot. <laughs> well, I yep. got a stack of 43 if you need it. Well, that'll be a good start. Yeah, we've got uh, in, in the shop here, we've got 12 panes and, and 14 blocks, it looks like. Yeah, we're gonna need more. I'm gonna need more. You gotta use or blocks for it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go do some, some sand digging. I got a feeling. I had been planning on uh, digging out part of the channel in the river anyway, and there's a lot of sand in that, so I'll do that. Yeah, because there's only, only nine pieces of sand here. That's not gonna get us very far at all. No. Well, I've got this. I've got the. Uh... When does I wonder if I should put a column in the center of these? Is that too big, Doodler? Do you think? Uh -oh. You think it'd be look cool if that was a full window? Um, I'm not sure what you thought about. It. I was put gonna put glass all along here in a uh, zigzag fashion, glass panes. I don't see why not. You may want to put like some columns every like. Like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Maybe put a few columns over here and there. Well, that's the thing. I have such bad OCD, it's gonna have to be even. <laughs> that's no joke. I really I really am bad about that. Dula, Dula knows what I'm making. <laughs> <laughs> I planted the tree farm, I made sure and spaced the trees exactly five apart. Even though normally I wouldn't bother with, because I knew otherwise he'd show up, walk down the hill, see what was there, and just freak out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to go back and put one torch on the right right side of each one because it has to have one torch. Oh, okay. I, that's nuts. This I'm will be the center part of this one. There are fourteen each, I believe. So if you get seven, yeah, you can make a column. I'm gonna put one right in. Uh, it's actually gonna have to be two. Like this. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was, actually, I was also looking at like the other end up right here. This part is just jotting out. Oh, yeah. I'll get that. Got that. Got that. I'll just leave. Uh, do you want me to leave these markers right here so uh, you can just get to this, or do you just want me to move these? What's that? These like markers I have right here for the no, mill spot. That's I can I can take them down when I put the columns in. I'll get them back to you. Man, I don't need it, man. I got a uh, silk cut pick from that awesome villager. Oh shoot! Wow! I just saw all the terraforming Dilakpa did. Yeah, Dude. he he um he rocks and rolls. Rocks and rolls. Rock and rolls. <laughs> he rocks and rolls. Yeah. Man, you you doing some major terraform? I need to hire you. 
fucking garden there or something, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, on, the, on the last version of, of the map on the server, I was up on top of a farm, so this time I decided I wanted to spread out. Okay, how do I get the old map from the server? You have to pay for uh, it. Yeah, if you go to the, uh, you know, section of the farm for the Cyberdog Nation server map, uh, or I mean, you know, for the Cyberdog Nation server, there's uh, a post there by SG, and you can get... The, the last map, or even the map that was before that, like before I, I was playing the Cyberdog server. I was on that server too. I like to get that back sometime. On uh, that, where is this? Because I'm looking at the forms and I'm looking for Cyberdog server. One of one of the uh, head, one of the sections of the forum is actually titled the Cyberdog Nation server. Uh, hey Dula. Yeah. I would if I get a copy of that other map, I would love for you to see the uh, double cave spider spawner that I made that was auto that was automated. Yeah. So so what version was that? One six four? Uh yeah, I believe so. I believe so. Sweet. Yeah, back they were using bucket then, and you used to get uh, they used to like use some type of money monetary system on it. Gold nuggets. Oh, I don't remember what it was. You could okay, trade I'm it. Like on this thing, and I'm looking at one, and I just don't stress it. Look for something titled SG from SG or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I see. I don't. I don't recall the the name of the. It's it's the the one about the, the update of the server, and there was a poll on it and and all that. I don't. It was it was a while back when. When I come across it, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but honestly. Okay, I'm just gonna type in on the search engine something like update or something like that. What is that? Off. <laughs> I was gonna say that, <coughs> that one was really wound up up there. Looks like this is. Donate them burritos. <laughs> I'm about ready for glass now. Well, I should be just about done here as far as gathering sand, so we should go to get a big old pile of it fired up for you. I say I'd want to dig up this part of the river for fishing anyway, so yeah. since it's all sand, perfect timing. Look at, looking good. Who used to say that? Was that uh, Freddie Prince? Uh, yep, that was Freddie Prince Jr. Yeah. Uh, back on what? Chico and the Man. Chico, Chico and the man. Yes, they will. Chico and the man. Another, another one of them television programs that broke all kinds of boundaries. Oh yeah. Mister Spider, I regret to inform you that you have a large arrow in your head. Okay. He, says he does not. I guess I'll just have to prove him a liar. There we go. I got to go get those potatoes I was cooking in your furnaces. Alright, I am back up to the house hawk. I'm gonna take the sand in the furnaces for you. Excellent. Excellent. I think something's wrong with forms. Maybe it's just my computer, but for some reason, whenever I look at a form, it's all uh, jacked up. It's hard to explain. Let's see. Where are those taters? They're there. Got them. 
them. Did you give me the glass? Um, me? Uh, Dula. Um, yeah, uh, I gave you a stack of 43, I believe. Oh, it's, okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, there's like 14 glass over in the chest by the by the road. Okay. In the uh, materials. Let's see. There's a, there's a few paints in there. There's also a very damaged anvil in here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go get started on that. It's almost been 20 minutes. I'm gonna stop this again. I got uh, just shy of two stacks of sand cooking up for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Skeletons hit hard and update. What? Skeletons hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you, Rita? Oh, I'm still still around. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have you set your spawn? No. Hey, you might want to. I hate for you have to go uh. all the beginning. Any of the beds will, will work. Just lay down even though you won't actually sleep. Because uh, we got those... The villagers' guest house would be per a good place. You know where that is? I don't have anything in there. Oh, let's see. I've got to make some pains. I'm starting to get tired. Getting tired. This is gonna be cool when it's done. I'm trying to figure out how many levels I'm gonna need to put. This back area that I dug out back here just spawned so many creepers. It is insane. I can just stand here through a night time and kill 25, 30. They appear in groups of four and five. <laughs> so I don't know if, like, if there's like a spawner that you just can't perceive or what, but is there such like, a all at once there'll be like four of them, you know? Is there such a thing as a creeper spawner? Oh yeah. Hmm. It's not something you can like find like a like a zombie or skeleton spawner. They're in essence invisible to the player, but yeah, they exist. Cool. Well, I'm trust that there is one here because we have creepers out the wazoo. <laughs> yeah, if, if we were obsessed with TNT, we would seriously be in business. I'm surprised you're not using some of that for your landscaping. I'm sure we've got plenty of gunpowder floating around. Yeah, I just not not, not into it. <laughs> well, if I'm gonna blow something up, I prefer it belongs to someone else, and I'm mad at them. You know, it's like <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm perfectly happy to to sling a shovel. You know, that's fine. No, I like to blow up a few things. Not like that, I mean, you know what I mean. I mean, like the, some hillsides and stuff. Shoot, I already must... Yeah, well, so far, there's just, you know, not been any of this that, that's really, you know, called for it. Oh, infected zombie. You know, I have the stuff to cure you. Yes. Go, go but you're already well. He's already he's already burning, and by time I got him any any place, too late. He'd be gone. Yeah, that's too bad. Cause I've got uh, there's three weakness splash potions, 
and a golden apple uh, up by the potion stand in the small chest. Yeah. Gosh, for, you know, because I was, uh, I figured I was going to have to cure a lot of zombies. I didn't think the, um, vil you know, villager farm that I that I built was going to work that well. So it just it did the job, and there we go. It worked real well, actually. Well, shoot, I hate when I do that. Uh, hate wasting glass. I can't get. All right, all right, I'm getting mad now. Hey, you would like, um, hmm? I was going to say, Rita, if you would like some gear, we have all kinds of bits and pieces of interesting stuff that we've collected off of mobs and stuff that's just gathering dust in a chest. I don't want to, like, reach off you guys, that's not cool. No, no, but, see, you know. it's like, it's like, otherwise, basically, it's just going to sit there, and right now, it looks like you... You got. You've managed to get yourself what, like a helmet and some boots. Yeah. I mean, if I if I toss you a, a you know, some some leather, it'll at <laughs> at least help a little bit or something, you know. Yeah. We've got tons and of this like, stuff. Yeah. Literally. I I hunt creepers and and stuff every single night for XP, so we end up with tons of it, and we catch tons of of that kind of stuff too, fishing, you know, so. Right now, I think we've got to have like eight pairs of leather pants and at least four leather tunics, probably three of which are enchanted. Probably good. Yeah, so... Oh, where I want to put my house. So I could probably, can actually toss a couple of these together quick. It probably cost next to nothing in XP to just kind of beef it up a little bit. That's got protection one, what's this got? Unbreaking one, there you go. Toss those two together for you. Yeah, when I've uh, not this server, I mean not this map, but the one even before the one you got on, Dula. When I first went on, um, Bergo was there when he used to play Minecraft, <laughs> and he provided me with my first set of armor and my first horse. Sweet. Yeah, I liked playing with Bergo. I wish he was into Minecraft more than he is, but he's just... He got bored with it. I think Final. he's... I don't know how oh. that... I don't know how that's possible, but... <laughs> well, it's... it's well, but I come back to it every once in a while, still. Yeah, I'm addicted to the darn game, I think. <laughs> yeah, I... I uh, do any of you know Razor very well? Never met the fellow. Yeah, he was kind of the one that kind of first got me into into the Cyber Dog Nation thing. Because um, I had just visited the chat and he was there and he was having some girl troubles. And being an older guy, I guess he kind of saw me as a father figure, <laughs> and we became really good friends. And I, I don't see or hear from him too much anymore because he finally did meet a, a girl, and they've kind of gotten their lives, you know, going or whatever. But every now and then, I still hear from him. Nice kid. Crazy. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna take a lot of glass. <laughs> yeah, if I build any more levels, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to go to the desert probably. Yeah. Um. Feel free to uh, take any of the uh, stone from this area, because basically I was going to be pulling out all the stone and putting grass in. So if you need you need cobble, feel free to break it out. If you hear any of this interesting, uh, you know, the andesite or whatever, 
Um, got a couple of things for you here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I like the granite the best. Cool. And dorite. I like dorite too. I made a... A good combo. The, yeah. And the, 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 there's, the there's hobbit hole like built like that, that uh, with the checkers. The uh, hole that you just broke over here, the uh, stuff I brought you is actually sitting right there in, in front of her, or actually in that hole. So, probably grab it quick. Well, there's all my... Nope, I still got some glass. I'm doing pretty good. I might actually get this done. <laughs> I'm making progress on the nest! Go figure that stuff out. <laughs> but probably make myself useful and tear out some of this stone while I'm here. Yeah, like I say, basically I'm just gonna... When I'm, you know, bored or whatever, I'm just gonna be pulling out all this make sure that it, by the end of it all, it's all level and it's all grass. Yeah, so. How much of that are you digging out there, uh, Dula? I mean... Well, this backside I've got it dug out as far as I'm gonna go, and now the the one hill that's here, I'm gonna blend it more, a little more naturally and, and put in some moss stone and stuff and make it look a little more like natural outcropping, because there's a little kind of like a little park area with a waterfall back here that I was gonna do a trail into yeah. and kind of you know, make that, I don't know, like a little elf, elven glade or something. You know me and my look, Lord of the Rings thing. I got it oh, something yeah. sort. <laughs> Were you going to make one of those uh, fairy circles too, out of uh, mushrooms? That's right. I was going to make me a fat circle. I like that. Elf. Yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking more, more elfy than fae. That's fine. I don't know, it's like you don't you don't want to get me started on 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 mushrooms and magic circles and things, <laughs> and this could turn into a really weird place. <laughs> and don't get me started. Whoa, we're almost shoot! Come on, it's got to be enough, guys. It's got to be enough. Is Doodler still here? Yeah, I'm here. No, Doodler. Oh, Doodler. I don't think he is. He's just kind of standing there, but not reacting. <laughs> he's up here in the nest, but he's... He has now entered the second stage of his trance. So when he will begin making predictions. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. And check out right behind me. Do you see her? Looks like I got a little witch situation going on. <clears throat> Maybe two. I think I might see one behind her. Yep. I believe she's there. Anyway, guys, please be sure to comment, share, like, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed that episode. And I will see you in the next episode, episode 18, that will finalize this particular group of episodes that ha occurred in one evening. <clears throat> so until then, I will see you later. Bye.